So, welcome to a video of my short morning ride. Uh, this was the 6th of December, the Independence Day of Finland. And uh, I got out at 8.30 a.m. Still a bit dark at that time. And got home two hours later. I started by uh, going around a nearby lake, a lake where we usually go swimming in summertime and it has a nice trail around it, mostly made by people who walk their dogs on these trails. So now we are out of the woods. Um, there are trees here too but not not as big so there is much more snow and and the weather was really nice actually minus 15 degrees celsius pretty hard packed we had uh, plus degrees the day before so now the wet snow had frozen and the trail was really pleasant to ride and uh, it turns out that the fat bike is very well suited for this for this type of terrain. It's not seen now that much as the snow evens out the the terrain, but in, in the summertime this is a very technical technical trail, but I find it very easy to to ride this trail with the fat bike. The big tires really makes it so much easier to go over obstacles. So now we are out of the woods completely and crossing a railroad quickly and uh, I will reach one end of the lake. It's not a very very big lake but it has a really nice sand beach where the kids like to to swim in the summertime. So, yes, soon you will see a little building which is a sauna. There are lots of saunas in Finland. Um, I think basically every single person has access to a sauna in one way or another. This sauna is owned by, by the city. So, city workers can use this sauna. Go to sauna and swim in the lake. And here I just wanted to test uh, how well the bike rides in looser snow. I think there's about 8 to 10 centimeters of uh, not exactly powder but very loose snow on top of a layer of more hard packed snow. And as you can see, it's possible, but it's pretty heavy already. I wouldn't want to do this for a longer period of time. And next um, we are now on the other side of the lake. You can see the side I just uh, went through on the right. This is now the other side and this is much more, more technical, very difficult trail on in the summer. Now it's much more enjoyable, but still you have to do some work here. And uh, yes, this is probably, I'm going faster than ever before uh, with the fat bike. The big tires just makes it very easy to get over these stones and roots and other obstacles on on the trail. So my other other mountain bike is a 26 inch full suspension bike. And as this is my first experience ever with anything bigger than 26 inch tires, I must say that I could never have imagined that the difference would be so so big, so much easier to roll over obstacles. So this is completely untouched 
snow now. Maybe 10 centimeters of softer snow on top of a, a hard packed layer. And that went well too. So in total this was a two hour ride and I'm just showing you a few few bits. This was a really nice part. Downhill, 10 centimeters of loose snow, just some person have been walking there, nothing else. And I went down as fast as I could and it felt I had really good grip in the front and in the rear. So very very fun and enjoyable. That's basically it. Here in the end will be just a few photos which I took during the trip. That's the first lake and this is at another lake. The sun was already up. It was 10.30 a.m. now. Thanks.